Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Boba Fett from Star Wars. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay. Now, why Boba Fett again? Well, someone requested Boba Fett a while back, and uh, I, I, I said, yeah, I'm going to get to it. Well, then the whole Mandalorian thing happened, and I was like, you know, I, I still want to do Boba Fett. You know, the actual um, movie Boba Fett. So... I thought about it. I was like, should I? Should I? I was like, yeah, why not? Why not? You know, let's have fun. That's what this is all about, is drawing what we want to draw, right? And so I thought, well, you know, I haven't done a flying Boba Fett, so I could do that. So this one is going to be the old Jetpack Fett, you know? So it's going to be different from the other one. And I feel it, it's justified why I'm drawing him. So yeah, so in so many words, two, two Boba Fett's for the price of one, you know? But yeah, like I said, so now we can actually have a, a flying one, and I think that would be better. You know, we got a couple different ones. You can draw what you want, and you know, you like the you like the new updated Boba Fett, the current one that's gonna go into Ba -ba -ba -bum, the Boba Fett files. What was it called? The uh, book, book, books of Boba Fett, book of Boba Fett. Yeah. So you, you you got that if you want it, and if not, come come back to original Fett, where we put on the original uh, rubs and spices to give it its original fetish flavor. Ew, that sounds gross. Okay. So yeah, so that's that's why. That's why we're gonna have two fets. And uh for the price of one. So and also like I said, we can have a flying fet. You know, we haven't had that before. Or I haven't drawn one like that. I've just drawn, um, you know, the uh, usual standing pose. Now I'm drawing um, flying fat. And hopefully I don't forget something, which I probably will. So before, before anybody, you know, calls me out and says, you didn't draw this, you didn't do that. Well, you know what? Okay. I know. I'm sure I'm going to forget something. But it's hard because I don't have a lot of photos. You would think I have a lot of photos, but I don't. I mean, oh, okay, so here's the thing. I don't have them in this position, so I'm trying to see what I can see, what I can't see, and what, uh, what I should draw, you know? What's it gonna do with his hand? Oh yeah, just draw his hand down like that. Nothing, nothing crazy. Because mostly, mostly he's gonna be... Well, okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. I just drew his cape almost like, like, like flying, like, but I don't want that. I need, I need, uh, I, I mean, billowing is fine, but I don't want it up like he's Superman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can't have that. OK. 
Okay, and also, let me see if I can draw his gun. Here's, this is going to be a tricky part, because again, I don't have a picture of it in this position. The last thing I want is people telling me how wrong I am, because I didn't do it right. It's going to happen, I know. But again, I don't have pictures. I'm just going by close enough. And uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find something where he's holding it. Not really. Oh well, that's the best I can do. Um, let's see, so I'm gonna draw, all you can see of his pack is we're gonna draw the little cone blasters. And then maybe back here you'll see the uh, rocket. Like that. Ooh, let me draw his head. Okay, hang on. So if I'm gonna do I'm gonna down here like this. I've gotta draw it big enough. And that's the trick, that's the hard part, is you gotta draw it big enough that it looks like someone is wearing it. That's also the problem with toys. I see a lot of people making custom figures and custom this and all that. Sometimes, if you don't get the dimensions of the helmet right, it doesn't look like someone's wearing it. And it's so it doesn't look legit, you know? So that's a big trick. It's something I want to get right. is making it look like someone is actually wearing the helmet. Or that it'll fit over someone's head, is what I'm trying to say. Something like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let me uh, erase some of these sketch lines real quick, and then we'll get going. Now, again, I don't, un unfortunately, I don't have a good picture of his blaster. I've got the toys, but I, just, I didn't bring it in front of me. I just uh, got my sketch stuff ready. I didn't bring my toys out. So let me erase some of these sketch lines, and then we'll welcome everybody to skip to the sharpie portion and get going. Now, I, uh, I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil line. So what I normally do is I sketch, and then as I get more confident, I press harder, and those are my confidence lines, right? So when I'm erasing like this, I'm erasing the sketchiness, and I'm keeping the confidence. And that's the best way to live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness, follow your confidence. And that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I think I've erased enough that I can see where I'm gonna go and get going. So let's welcome everybody that skipped. Welcome skippers, welcome to the sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a sharpie fine point and a sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of these sketch lines, but left myself enough to guide us on this sharpie adventure. So I think I'm going to go ahead and dig in with the uh, sharpie pen just to do some of the features of the mask and then we'll switch over to the sharpie fine point. Normally I use these for the uh, features of the face, but there's no face here, so we're just gonna draw the mask. So I've got them kind of turned. You've seen the you've seen the drawing. You know what you saw the picture. You know what we're doing. So I'm just gonna eyeball this and do it by hand. I'm not worried about whether this is perfectly straight. I'm gonna try. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna try, but uh, I'm not worried about perfect straight lines. You're welcome to get a ruler and do it, make it straight like this. But uh, I don't need it right now. You know, I'm not selling this. I'm not trying to make sure, make a scale model, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just want it to look good. That's it. So that's all I'm worried about. So I'm going to draw the edges like this. That might be a little too thin. But that's okay, because we're going to color it all in anyway later. And it'll look thicker once we color it all in black. 
There you go, not bad, not bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the entire outer edge so I know where I'm going or how it's looking. Like this, and again, just to make sure I've got the overall shape. That's what I'm looking for. Because I do have it at a, at a different angle, so I just wanna make sure that that angle is looking right. Make sure it's looking right. Oh, and also I'm gonna to start to thicken up my edges too because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So, I'm gonna to start to make up for that here. Because like I said, I like using this Sharpie pen because I can control the line width, but it is gonna be different. You are, you are gonna see a difference. Okay, so I'm gonna start doing some extra lines where I know this is going to go. I know I said I was going to draw the whole entire helmet, but it looks like I'm not. It looks like I'm drawing what I want, right? Okay, now that I've established that line, I know about where that is, so I just want to make sure I kind of put them in the same place. Okay, looks good to me. So now I'm gonna draw the dome. And a lot of times I like doing it with this smaller Sharpie too because I can control uh, the curve. Now see, it's not a perfect curve, so that means, okay, then that, straighten that out, thicken this up, thin this out, that kind of thing. So because I'm making it thicker, I can kind of hide a few things here. If you're working with pencil, just get it right or erase it or don't worry about it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Even here, look, I'm not going to get this perfectly domed. And that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm going to try. Like I was talking about before, I'm going to try, but I'm okay with it not being perfect. See, even that's a little high, but I'm okay. That's fine. Um, let's do another uh, line on top for the top of his visor. Cross like that. The dents and all that stuff, we'll worry about later. I'm not worried about any of that stuff. I'm just drawing the, the specifics or the, 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 I want to say the outline, but it's not really the outline, the uh, major plot points of the movie. All right, so I think I'm good here. I'm going to switch over to the big Sharpie. Ooh, I see a thin line. Watch how, how this is going to stand out because of the, the size of the other Sharpie. Okay, so you can see a little bit of his neck back here. Like that. See how thick that is? That's what I'm talking about. You can see a little bit of his neck, but I have him looking down. So his chest is going to be right here. So I'm going to draw that chest piece that he has. Again, let me look at other pictures to make sure I've got enough drawn. Yeah, the chest piece like that is going to come over his shoulder. I'm going to come down, go across. Okay. This is gonna come over here because it doesn't quite cover his entire uh, shoulders. It kind of attaches on the back like that, right? Awesome. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's draw his um, shoulders or the the shoulder uh, like protector piece. It's just kind of floating on his shirt I mean I guess it's sewn on it's not not very smart but hey he's Boba Fett and I'm not right all right for his armor um, let's do let's do his chest piece okay wait hang on attach that right there I've got his cloak kind of flowing back but it's kind of flowing because he's it's not because it's Superman but just from wind you know so for his chest piece it's all three separate pieces right yeah 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 See, and it's all just like glued to his cloth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so for his chest piece, I'm gonna do this. Put another one out like that. And I'm going to leave room for that little center piece. And I think I'm gonna do that with a smaller Sharpie. 
so I can control the line width uh, much better because it's it's kind of kind of high. Let's see. Not kind of high, kind of thin. That's what I was trying to say. That, and then the middle piece. That, okay. So, let me draw the uh, middle one, before I forget. You know, I'll still thicken it up. I'll still try to make it look like the rest, but I just want to be able to control it without bumping into those other lines. Like that, okay? And I know he's got uh, some stuff over here. I mean, you know what? I should probably do that with color. Not going to worry about all that stuff, the dents and all this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to do that with color. All right, so, floating through the air, Superman style. He's got his, his, uh, his Wookiee braids over here, over his shoulder. Do something like this. Like that. And let me draw again his, his other um, shoulder piece, which you can't quite see because it's kind of covered up by what's in front of it. And then let's draw his uh, his big old sleeves. So he's got he's got like a t-shirt on <laughs> over his overalls. Oh, Boba Fett, you overdressed. You weren't sure whether it was going to be cold or hot, so you, you dress for both, right? Okay, uh, well, let's see. Then he's going to have his belt pack. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun. Let me do his, uh, his shirt here. got a lot of wrinkles in it because he's got a lot of stuff glued to it it's like what's going on Boba why did you glue all your 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 pieces to your shirt like how's that attached you know what I mean okay so um let's see his hands are just sticking out so I'm going to that should have been a little bit further down so I'm gonna draw just this one down cloth to the, uh, oh, but he's holding his gun, so I can only draw so much, so I gotta be careful here. Let's draw this one, now I'll come back over there. So, and draw the cloth to his forearm, and then he's got his big old uh, rocket piece. Okay, and again, it's well here let's do a hand real fast um it's it's mostly uh straight edges here and, and and bends there so let me just do this for his hand he's, i don't have him doing much with his hand he's just kind of floating in the air so he's just kind of doing one of these that kind of thing okay So, again, because it's cloth, just kind of do some wrinkles and folds. And then here, for this rocket thing, I'm not going to do all the exact uh, lines that are in it. And then even, even this little uh, um, this thing. That's all I can really do. Because, I mean, it's cool and it's got very specific stuff to it, but, you know, it's it's a lot of uh, techno stuff. That uh, it looks better with, with color, you know? But there, we added straight edges to it to make it uh, manufactured. And I think he's got, like, you know, the typical uh, gloved, uh, gloved patches and stuff like that, so that's what that is. All right, so... I've got his gun on this hand, but I talked about this in the sketch that I don't have a picture of the gun, unfortunately. So I'm just kind of eyeballing, guessing from what I can remember and uh, as best as I can. All right, okay, let's try that. Okay, so it looks like a pistol, but it's got a big old huge handle. So the handle, 
uh, is kind of floating back. I'm going here, but I kind of have to do this to show... Uh, oh no, you know what I need to do here? Let's do this. So I'm going to draw the edge of his wrist gauntlet, like that. His thumb over his uh, 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 the handle and then the rest of it's coming down that way so I just want to make sure that was done first and then it's coming down like that okay so he's gonna have a finger on the trigger out here like this fingers wrapped around the handle like this and then it's kind of coming down it's doing one of these things into the big old handle Something like that, okay? I, it actually should have probably come down like this more, but that's okay. We'll do it like that, okay? We'll add some detail in a second. There's a trigger guard, trigger, and here, let's see if it's it's like a like a like a like a pistol, from what I can remember. And uh, let's see, does it have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's, it's a strange looking gun. Um, okay, so we're just going to draw. I'm just going to do the best I can. Sorry. Okay. Now, again, remember, it's not going to be sold to anyone. This is not going to be uh, put on display. This is just for us drawing. So I'm not too worried about straight edges or whether this is 100% accurate. I'm just drawing, you know, for fun. So, that being said, go crazy, you know, add what you want. Or if you got a better picture, go for it. You actually use, use reference and, and get it done right. Right now, I don't have it in front of me and uh, I'm just drawing for you guys, so this is all we're gonna worry about. You know, and again, I'm just making this stuff up too, so. So there you go. Okay, so the reason I did that is because this is all in front of that arm, so you can't really see everything. So that's kind of the whole point, is you gotta draw what's in front first, then you can draw what's behind. So, yeah, okay, so I wanted to make sure that I got his uh, tubes right too. So we're gonna close off his wrist. There's his, his, uh, um, forearm piece of the stuff he's got on there. Elbow, cloth, tubes, tubes. Okay. I just poked myself in the thumb. Okay, so again, this is a lot of a lot of uh, cloth being bent. So I'm just adding a whole bunch of wrinkles and creases. There we go. So now I'm gonna draw his belt. And so he's got uh, a very, uh, um, ooh, what should I say? A very uh, thick belt. Um, it's a lot of packs, a lot of, of stuff all over, but also depends on which version we're drawing, right? Doesn't that come into play? Like uh, uh, Empire versus um, uh, Jedi. So I'm gonna kind of mix them up. I'm gonna say that we're gonna do the, I think this is the Empire one where he's got just the, the singles on, on his belt, as opposed to the big ones going all the way across that he's got on Jedi, I believe. I could be wrong, but you know what? Again, like the gun, look, we're just drawing Boba Fett. Have fun. <laughs> all right, so he's got big overstuffed uh, pouches that just, we're gonna have them kind of flying in the air because uh, he's flying. So kind of something like that. And I like to draw little extras like this. That's what I like this, this uh, Sharpie for. It, it accents and it helps us to uh, kind of 
make it a little bit more uh, not pleasant but uh, lived in you know it looks real there we go something like that all right so he does have a middle piece like that and he does have a crotch piece big old metal crotch piece to protect him okay so I'm gonna have his legs out now and he's got again more more packs more uh, um, what do you call it? cargos for his cargo pants you know something like that uh, I'm gonna do a big one over here and then I can draw his legs so legs down to his uh, knee pads or rocket knee pads whatever those are it's funny because you know we we see these pictures when we're growing up and all this stuff that they attach and glue and make and whatnot we don't know what they're for and then finally we saw we saw them come to life in uh, the Mandalorian you gotta watch it it's awesome okay so let me uh, I want to add a little detail here and then we'll go further hang on so like I like I did before I just like adding just a little bit of no detail to uh, the packs, to his cargo pants, just to show that yeah, there's a lot of a lot of detail here. They're kind of sewn strange too. They got this weird little over sew like that. It's weird. I don't know why. It's almost like a um, it's like that to to keep them from bulging out. But it's like how much stuff do you have in there? You know, what do you keep your quarters in there for the video games? You crazy Boba Fett. Get a coin purse like the rest of us. Come on. Um, so again, cloth gets cloth bends and folds like that. This is a metal metal crotch piece. So we're gonna do that. Okay. So now we're gonna draw his legs. His uh, his rocket legs. Same thing over here, let's do this one. Now that looks a little bit strange, but hang on, just give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to add like the rocket packs or, or the little extras like that. So same thing here. I wanted to draw them separately with the tiny Sharpie so you can see it better. Cool. Awesome. All right. Okay, so more, <laughs> more uh, cargo pants. He's, he carries a lot of stuff. I mean, again, come on, Boba. Get uh, get get a purse. The rest of us. Come on. You got too much stuff here. Nobody wants to carry this stuff for you. Nobody wants to have to, you know, put all this stuff in their pocket. There's too much stuff in your pockets, Boba Fett. It really is. Um, let's do the same thing over here. He's got a whole bunch of whole bunch of pockets and and things he's carrying. I don't know why. You know, maybe it's his calculators and and pens and and, and extra little stuff. It's too much. It's too much of a fit. There's his pants all rolled up over his pants. I mean, over his shoes. And now his special boba shoes. Like this. They've got little, uh, little spiky things. I don't know what they are. At the front toes. Like that. And let's see, this one's more pointed down at you. So, we're not done yet. I gotta draw the rocket and the uh, um, cape just kind of billowing just a little bit. Um, let's see, so here, it's like this. Check out like these separate little, little uh, compartments. I don't know what they are. But yeah, 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 it's crazy. He's got all kinds of little packs and stuff. Ok, 
Okay, uh, same thing here. We're gonna draw a little bit of sewing, a little bit of edges right there. Don't know what this is, but he's got a bunch of them. He's got a bunch of them. He's ready. It's almost like straws, little drinky straws, you know? All right, that's good for Boba. So let's draw the extra stuff now. So he's gonna have his rocket pack. And all you can see of it back here is going back here. We're gonna just come in here like this. And we're gonna say that that edge is like this. I, I wanted to do it down a little bit more, but I want you to be able to see it. So that's the other reason why I drew it like that. Okay, so the back of it's back here and all you can really see of it is like this. So let's draw the, uh, um, the, the rocket. You know, all you can really see of it is Again, because it's going back behind his head, you can't see the whole thing. That's all we're gonna do with that. Let's draw some some uh, um, his little cape thing hanging off like this. And we'll say it's just kind of bellowing in the wind because of the way he's he's just kind of flying through the air. That's all. I don't want to do a whole bunch of them. Uh, okay, or maybe maybe we'll do one more like this because there are a couple a couple edges to it, right? Flames, we'll do with color. I'm not gonna worry about that. Or no, let's do something here. Let's do this. Let's just do something like that, okay? Just to give it that, that rocket edge. We'll do one little seam like that. And there we go. I said we take care of the rest with color. So that is Boba Fett from Star Wars. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.